What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be talking about CM Punk. Someone who I have been and continue to be quite a big fan of and I, I very much enjoy and respect his work. But he's been in the news a lot lately as most of you know. And obviously the biggest thing as of late was his decision to sign with UFC. I don't know if you've missed that somehow. Maybe you live under a rock and, and just haven't heard it. But yes, CM Punk has signed with UFC for a multi-fight deal, and he will step inside the octagon starting sometime in 2015. So let's go back a little bit on the CM Punk timeline. Last January, uh, right after the Royal Rumble, CM Punk walked out on WWE. He was silent about it, didn't tell anybody why. There was no public definite reasons given. Everyone had their own thoughts and had their opinions on it, but he himself never spoke out about why, about why he left. So, some nine, ten months later, on Thanksgiving, CM Punk goes on the Colt Cabana Art of Wrestling podcast and tells his whole story. Top to bottom, about an hour and a half, two hours. It was, for me, for someone who enjoys his work and just enjoys the wrestling business as much as I do, it was an amazing two hours to listen to. I didn't stop listening for a second. I was completely sucked in, hanging on every word, because that was the biggest story that has been the biggest story in wrestling for the past 10 months. CM Punk walked out, why, what happened, you know, what led to this, and he went from top to bottom explaining exactly what went down between health issues, creative problems, just general bullshittery that went on between him and WWE. If you haven't listened to that podcast, I highly, highly suggest you do it. Even if you're not that big of a fan of CM Punk and you're just maybe kind of a wrestling fan. It's honestly worth the listen, and it's amazing. It's just, it's great. Hats off to, to Cole Cabana, too, for kind of just sitting back and letting Punk tell his story and get that whole thing off his chest. So what happens from there is that Stone Cold Steve Austin, my favorite of all time, who also happens to have a podcast, did a live podcast with Vince McMahon, the owner of WWE, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. McMahon himself. And on that show, uh, Vince was asked about the CM Punk situation. And Vince went on to apologize for firing Punk on his wedding day, saying it was unintentional, and saying a few other things, how he hoped that maybe sometime in the future they'd get back together, which was nice to hear, you know, from a fan's perspective. That's nice to hear that. Uh, whether it's completely honest or not, you know, it, it's good to see that maybe sometime way, 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 way down the road, there might be some reconciliation. Don't hold your breath. It's not going to happen for a very, very long time. But it's nice to know that that door is open should Punk ever decide to go back. So at this point, as far as professional wrestling goes, Punk is the hottest he's been since he cut that original promo in Vegas. He hasn't wrestled for, for almost a year, yet he's probably the most talked about thing in pro wrestling at this point at the time of that podcast, okay? Now, this is where I tip my hat to UFC and Dana White because just days after that, it's announced that CM Punk has signed with UFC. Let's table the whole how we feel about Punk fighting in the UFC for a second and just talk about how just genius of a move that is. From a business standpoint, you could not sign anybody hotter than CM Punk right now. From a business standpoint, that's gonna draw money, that's gonna draw pay-per-view buys. People who may have never watched UFC before are gonna watch it. People like me who maybe sometimes watch UFC on occasion are now probably gonna pay a little bit closer attention to it. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Regardless of how you feel about CM Punk himself stepping into the octagon, that's what it boils down to. This was, I hate to use a WWE term, but that was a great business decision. That was great for business. So let's talk about Punk himself. Um, I don't know him personally. I can't speak for him or his thought process. But from what I have seen from him, he doesn't go into something half-ass. Um, he didn't just wake up and say, oh, hey, why don't I try UFC? You know, he's been trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and, and a bunch of other styles for a long time. And I think everyone expected, especially him, this whole, oh, look, here comes a fake pro wrestler stepping into a real fight, watch him get his ass kicked and blah, blah, blah. And Punk even said himself, if he gets his ass kicked, he gets his ass kicked. But at the end of the day, he has the balls to step into the octagon, to step into uh, an arena that he's not that familiar with. He's not automatically getting a title shot. This isn't Brock Lesnar where he's going to be just thrown to the wolves and have a title shot in his second or third match. This isn't one of those situations. He's going to start at the bottom. He's going to start with someone who is probably on his level, not that experienced, if experienced at all. 
and grow from there. So I very much understand the opinion of, of you know, diehard UFC fans. Because guess what? Diehard WWE fans are just as passionate. Maybe not in the same kind of way, but just as passionate nonetheless. Me, myself, I'm very critical of the WWE product at times, but that's because I, I want it to be great. You know, I, I've seen it at its highest point. I've been there in the thick of it every single week when it was, you know, at the top of its game. And I want to see it succeed. That's why I'm critical of it, because I know it can be better. So I understand that UFC fans have that same passion about that sport, the same passion about MMA, and they feel very strongly about someone who was not born and bred into that sport, now all of a sudden stepping into a spotlight. So here's what I would say to the people who are concerned about CM Punk stepping into UFC. Just wait. Just wait. If he has his first fight and he gets his ass kicked, so be it. But you know what? He might also have his first fight and kick some serious ass and prove a lot of people wrong and surprise damn near everybody. Personally, I'm excited about it. And I'm excited from the standpoint of I'm glad to be able to have CM Punk on my TV again because he's a hell of a performer. He's a hell of a talker. I respect the shit out of what he's able to do. So I wish him nothing but the best. Some people might not share that opinion with me and that's absolutely fine. Everyone's entitled to feel the way that they want to feel, but I would recommend that we all just wait and see. So, let me know your thoughts about Punk joining UFC and the whole Punk situation over these past few months. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and thank you guys, as always, for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at IamTheDank. Leave a like on this video before you go, and subscribe now for much more. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.